What's going on? I can't get up. I was trying to work on the nursery and I got tired on my way. So you feel me? You can't get up and you decided to lay down in the hallway? I didn't fall. I lay down on purpose so I could take a break. Oh, okay. Can you give me some water? You want water? Want to get you up first? You want water? I want water first. Water first. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So Chris got me a new GoPro for Christmas. It's time to play around with it. So I'm gonna be ready to take this thing out for a test spin through Chinatown as we wait for our food. Chris is gonna hang out here and probably record videos and all this stuff. I'm hungry. Oh, she's hungry. But the food has to be made. So as you can see, Chris is happy. She got her food. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not happy because I broke my skateboard, but it's okay. I made some friends, LJ and Nick. So everything works out well. Life is good, life is good. Now to the boxing one. All right, so on our flight when we were coming back from Switzerland, or excuse me, Copenhagen, there was these two kids and I was talking to their father at first. And their father was like, yeah, my kid loves recording videos. He loves doing video work, yada, yada, yada. So then the older brother came over, then the younger brother came over, and I was talking to both of them. And essentially, we were talking about YouTube and why I record videos. And essentially, what I told them, in a nutshell, was I make videos to show the truth, to show the actual life of somebody that's living a regular life. Because a lot of times, YouTubers, Instagrammers, Facebookers, whatever, like to show this really awesome life but don't show the downside to that really awesome life. They don't show that there are moments when you're sitting behind a computer for hours by yourself and no one to talk to because you're editing a video. They don't show that you have this sadness inside of you at times and you don't know how to express it. So what you do is you cover it up with happy thoughts and feelings and all these feel good things to try and put yourself into a mindset that, hey, I feel good, I feel great all the time. And you don't acknowledge the, the sadness. So one thing I like to do is I like to express the sadness boop, boop, hold your butt, in my videos to show you all that it's not all glitz and glamour. Life isn't always sweet and sometimes things just suck. And I think that's really important to show in life in general because it's just one of them things. Life isn't as cookie cut. Come on baby, I'll help you out. You're struggling. Cookie cut is people like to make it seem, you know? In this day and age, everyone's looking at social media and paying attention to what someone else does. And a lot of times you don't realize that what they're doing is all just a show, it's all just fake. It's just a facade. It's like makeup. It's just a facade. It's not real. It's an act. It's a game. And it's all just to give this illusion of something else. So I wanted to take this little break here from my GoPro and thing. I got the GoPro on my crotch. To just say to you all, just because things aren't perfect now doesn't mean they won't be perfect later. And remember that perfection always requires some type of imperfection. So you may be struggling right now and that's fine. Struggle is good. It builds character. It builds character. So camera woman Chris, camera woman, cam, camera woman, camera woman Chris, a Siskit's Chris is going to take some photos on the GoPro and then I'm going to add it into the, the video. So I'm going to do that. So this is what it looks like now.
But one thing I like to pride myself on is learning from my mistakes. So for this GoPro that Chris got me, I am not making the same mistake twice, which means that I am no longer suction cupping. Okay, I'm not, I probably will suction cup it to stuff, but I'm not gonna suction cup it loosely anymore. I'm also going to make sure I take better care of the way I handle my stuff. So with that being said, I have ordered this. It's a GoPro, it says, you know, five and six, but it also said it was good for a seven. And it's a cap that goes over the top, a screen protector and stuff like that. Cause I'm not gonna scratch the screen. Also, batteries, got some new batteries cause the battery life on this thing lasts like an hour, if that. So yeah, it's been a responsible adult and video person. That's what I'm doing right now. So yeah. So all in all, it took about five minutes in real time. But the, the whole thing is, now I have this like little screen, I got a cover for it, which I don't understand why GoPro doesn't even like issue this out when you get it. This should be a thing. It's like a, it's, it's a lens cap. So that's something just a little lens cap so you store it. Cause like, so the other GoPros, you had to put it in the waterproof case. So that could be your lens cap, but this one is just, it is. But yeah, so this is it. A little screen protect on the back, a little screen protect on the front. So yeah, GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition. Uh, yeah, keep playing around with it. And I'm going to do that. So, thanks Chris, I love you. If you see this and you're wondering why uh, I'm showing the entire room, it's because I'm messy and I'm sloppy. But thank you for doing the dishes today. I love you. So that is my non-scientific, not too in-depth review of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Um, yeah, hope you like it. Oh, so I have a lot of deja vu, and one of the deja vu things I had a long time ago was some kid somewhere telling me that I looked like somebody because of my clothes. Well, on the plane ride, the one where we took business class that ruined my entire life, the two kids I was talking to, the ones I mentioned earlier, were saying how I, I look like a YouTuber because of my merch. So, that was cool. Felt nice. Felt fancy, you know? They felt like they, felt like they admired me for some reason. I don't know why, but what ifs? Uh, if you can't tell, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and I'm fading fast. So with that being said, Subscribe, like, comment, and I catch you later. Chris, you want to say anything to the people? people. Chris says, I can't show you her because she's looking really foxy right now. Deuces. I just kind of wanted to show you all my, my jacket because I think it looks cool.